Okay, in this sequence of videos, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the use of MicroStation, which is a CAD software. It's the one of the industry standards, the other one being AutoCAD. Uh, we've got both packages on our on our computers here at Merrimack, uh, but w I'll be uh, this is uh, this sequence is is targeted at MicroStation. So this first video, I'll be introducing the uh, the the user environment within in MicroStation, and in subsequent videos, we'll be we'll be looking at other other features. So when you double click on the uh, MicroStation icon on your desktop, uh, which by the way um, I can point to here. It looks like this, kind of a mu. Okay. Um, you'll come up with you'll you'll find a, a dialog that looks like this. The the, uh, the, the default is that uh, you're opening up a, a new file or a, a, an existing file, but we want a new file. So we're going to come up here and click on this white icon right here, right here. Click on that, and you'll see you have a it, that opens up a new box and it asks for a file name. So this is the new file. We're going to put that in my documents right now. So let's call this uh, demo1. Okay. And this will be this is a DGN that's MicroStation's uh, uh, file extension. Um, and it is based on the, uh, a file here. This, this is the path to the file in your directory, but it's called seed2d. Um, it's the seed file is like a template file in Microsoft Word or Excel. These are the standard settings for the drawing that you're using, right? You can create your own and base everything on that. That's a really handy, handy thing to be able to do. And we'll be, we'll be doing this later on. We'll be creating our own seed file. Okay. But for now, we're going to use the standard settings in this, in this seed file that's, that's uh, provided. So when you click save, it creates the file and then allows you to open it. <clears throat> so let's do that. Okay, and when we open up the file, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. So the file opens, and this is the working environment for uh, MicroStation. Okay, so you notice you have, um, you know, uh, the standard menus, lots of different menus. We'll be using some of them, pull down menus and so forth. Um, you've got a bunch of uh, tools up at the top here. Um, you've got lots of tools over here that we'll be looking at, uh, drawing tools and manipulation tools. Um, and, um, you know, so for example, uh, I have a line tool, a smart line tool. I can draw some lines. Okay, uh, if I want to, I can draw a circle okay, and so forth. Um, and so I can also, you know, for example, I can, um, I can move them move them around if I want to. Nothing, no, no big deal. We're going to be reviewing all of these tools uh, uh, later on. Okay. Um, now something that you should, you should uh, be aware of is that, um, you know, everything that you do gets saved continuously in MicroStation. So you need to be aware of that. So if you're making any big changes to a drawing, I would recommend making a backup of that drawing before you go in. Okay. Okay, so now notice also there's some other other things here that I haven't mentioned yet. They're called views. This is view one. This is view two. And notice this is the same drawing, except view two is zoomed way out. See, there's the two things I drew. If I go back to, to uh, view one, um, come on, there we go back to view one, I, I have up to eight different views. And these are basically just like window or like um, uh, Microsoft Word again. You know, if you open up a, win, a, a, a new window in, in Microsoft Word, when you're editing, an, editing a file, you can edit different portions of the file. And, you know, you only have one file open. You're just looking at different pieces of the document. And that's the same with these, these views. So I can have a very complex drawing 
and I can be working simultaneously in two different portions of that drawing very nicely. Okay, um, now when I'm, when I'm using these views, within the view I have all these different controls up here. So I can zoom in like this and notice the zoom ratio is 2. That means when I click it doubles the, uh, the drawing size. Uh, I can zoom out and I just click on the button and it zooms out uh, at a scale of 2. Um, I can undo and go back to where I was before or redo standard stuff. I can pan just the, that little grabber hand just like all the software that you use and allows me to move things around here. Very convenient. I can fit the view. That means everything that I've drawn, if I get lost, there it is. It'll go, it'll, it'll uh, plot everything to the extents of the view. Uh, and I can also zoom in uh, by defining a window. So um, I can just click like that and, and there we are. So now I've lost, I don't know where I am again here. Hold on, let's fit the view and there I am. I've got the whole drawing there. Isn't that nice? Um, there are a few other, I can copy the view, and blah, 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 blah. there are a bunch of other features that, that you know, I, I don't use very often, but uh, anyway, that's, that's the views. <clears throat> um, so now, with regard to the uh, buttons on your mouse, um, you'll notice when I drew this thing, I'm placing a smart line. Look at the lower left corner. It's telling me what tool I'm using, smart line. And what I should do next, enter first vertex. So that means enter the first point. And to enter, always, I use the left mouse button, click. And then when I draw the line, I'm just moving the mouse around, right? Um, when I'm ready to draw another one, I'll do a left click again. That's the data entry key. And then when I'm ready to end or get out of this tool, I'm done drawing. It says down at the left again, it says enter next vertex or reset to complete. That means hit the reset button. And the reset button is the right mouse button. Okay, and I did that. I hit the right mouse button, and there we are. I have a, a new drawing, a little, little drawing element here. Okay, now something that we'll use later that you either have a center wheel on your mouse or if you're using a laptop you don't you have two buttons a left and a right um, if you hit both of them simultaneously this is called the tentative snap and you'll see later on um, how we use that but right now we're going to just get out of that and you'll see how we use that later now also there's you notice something if I'm when I'm plotting this smart line enter the first vertex. Look look at that X and Y down at the bottom. This is the AccuDraw function. So what that allows me to do is enter an X and a Y very precisely. And um, you know I can type in if it's black, X is black, so I can type in uh, 0.5 and the Y, yeah, let's see, I'll type in um, um, minus 0.25. And if I hit the return, whoops, whoops, no, 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 I didn't want to do that, 0.5. Uh, and then if I put the cursor in the Y box, minus 0.25. And left click to enter, and then right click to reset. And there, there you go. Now I have a line uh, that is, uh, has an X value of 0.5 and a Y value of 0.25. Okay. I can turn this, this AccuDraw on and off with a button up here. See, it says toggle. If I hit this toggle button, see, they disappear. Or I can bring it back in again. I really like having it, so I never turn this off. Okay. And um, let's see, what else? If we go to the settings, uh, and, uh, workspace, hold on, the workspace, Preferences. I have all kinds of stuff I can I can do settings. I can set the buttons, what they'll do, um, all kinds of stuff here. 
So we're not going to do anything with that right now, but it's it's nice to know that you can set set things as as you're comfortable with them. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll see you next time.